Jackety check check. Hey, the audio works. That's amazing. Ah, hello and welcome to the review for the Safari LTD 2018 Mega Serops. This is the last 2018 figure we have to review. All 13 of them are on the shelf, and this is the last one. Uh, I don't know why it took me so long to get this one sent over, but it's here. And we'll be doing some 2019 figures after we're done with this one. So this figure kind of reminds me of the Uintetherium figure, and not just because they look, you know, a bit similar superficially, but just because of the, the process I went through kind of deciding on what I thought about this figure is pretty similar in the sense that I wasn't a huge fan of it based off of the promo picks, and I actually became less of a fan of it the more reviews that came out. And now that I have it in person, I'm like, oh, okay. I, I see what it's about, and I actually appreciate it a lot more. It's a lot more well-made than I was anticipating, even. And, uh, yeah, this is a figure that's really impressed me, just having it in person and really being able to properly examinate it. So, examinate? Examine! Wow, words. First of all, Integument. Uh, I've seen reconstructions of this genus that show it to be furry and have thick layers of fur or hair. Uh, obviously, Safari opted for more of a... Not necessarily hairless, but very minimal, uh, minimally hairy, sort of elephantine or rhinoceros-like skin texture. And the concept, cool, I think for the ecological niche of this animal, it makes sense that it wouldn't have a very thick coat of fur. I'm pretty sure it was in a fairly hot environment of Eocene Africa, I believe. Probably out in open environments. I'm not an expert on the Cenozoic, so if I say stupid stuff, then, then there's... There's my explanation. <laughs> if you say you're not an expert on something, you can just say whatever. Um, but anyhow, don't. that's terrible advice. As far as the execution of said skin texture and integument is concerned, it looks good. It's been done quite well, very crisp, very well sculpted. And there's a lot of nice, just various little details put around this guy in terms of the little folding skin over like the legs and arms. That's very rhinoceros-like, very believable, nice to see. Lots of nice little wrinkles and lines. I love all these, like, big, wrinkly fat deposits around the neck. Like, so often, like, animals are not necessarily in peak physical condition. And sometimes, even when they are, they have very prominent fat deposits on their bodies. I mean, just look at a lot of large mammals. And so it's cool to see that this animal is not being portrayed as being overly lean or overly buff and muscular. It, it just feels really, really believable in terms of its body mass index, I suppose. As far as the paint work is concerned, I do think the paint job comes off as just a little flat to me. Um, all the finer points are done well, the little nostrils, mouth, the eyes are, are well executed in terms of their paint inside the ears, sort of that nice little light purplish pink color. But the whole thing is mostly just gray, and there's there's little bits of darker gray, there's some, some subtle shading, which is nice to see. Nails are well done. Uh, or the hooves, would you call them hooves or nails? I don't, claw, definitely not claws. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, tip of the tail is painted black. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just when I look at its, again, superficially similar brother in the Uintetherium. The Uintetherium has mostly a cool gray, but then a warmer sort of burnt orange color coming in from underneath, which just adds some life to it, in my opinion. Something about this just feels a little more inanimate. It feels just kind of pale and unhealthy by comparison. I mean, quite on a very literal level, this looks like more blood is circulating through the animal. And so to take away that warmth, quite literally, that, that warm color, uh, there is something about this one that just feels a little less alive, and it's just a little more simplistic. I don't... I, people have already talked about this, but I, I agree with the general sentiment that the sculpt on this one is probably better than the Uintetherium. The detail work is, is definitely better, but the, the paint job and the the usage of color is just not as uh, carefully and creatively thought out. As far as the overall, like, posture and silhouette is concerned, it's really nice. Uh, no fancy pose on this one, just kind of in a standing position, but there's a lot of nice subtle movement conveyed, especially with the way this one front foot is sort of being ever so, ever so slightly lifted. It really seems like an animal that's sort of discontent, maybe uh, aware that there could be predators around, or sizing up a rival, or just investigating a new area for food, kind of pawing at the ground. It's not just standing there like, hmm, I'm a mammal. It's it's standing there on, kind of on edge, and uh, the back legs are a little bit more separated than the front legs. It looks very alert. There's something about it. There's just a, a subtle sort of personality, a subtle movement conveyed in the way it's 
carrying itself and the way it's postured. It doesn't feel super static or stiff. It's very subtle, but it, it feels believable. It feel, Cause you look at a big mammal standing still. They're never really standing still. None of us animals ever are. And big mammals are the perfect example of an animal that is sort of, you know, always shifting its weight and pawing around, stomping a little bit and sniffing around, ears flicking, tail going from side to side. Although a lot of those little subtleties are very nicely conveyed on this one. The tail is even flicking uh, quite decidedly to the right there. So really nice sort of detail work with the the pose of the model, actually. The final thing to talk about, I suppose, is just kind of a, a couple little notes here. First of all, I think the head sculpt is fantastic. Uh, this is a, a Cenozoic extinct mammal with a very iconic uh, skull ornamentation, possi possibly a defensive feature. I'm not sure how effective this large, broad, very much not sharpened horn is for defense, but it seems like it could be useful, and, and, and most mammals that have things on their head, even if they function for display, they also function for defense quite often. I'm not really sure about Megacerops' horn, but um, it's a very iconic looking animal, particularly in terms of its skull and its head. And and this is very well done. The eyes are lifelike and glossy. There's some nice little personality. He looks kind of cute and a little bit sad, and it's, it's adorable. I also, I love these little wrinkles on the upper lip. Very iconic, large mammal sort of uh, integument feature to have that wrinkly upper lip, and it's very well executed. The ears look alert. Everything is just very well done in that area. As well, the, the neck... Uh, <laughs> fat rolls really do add something. Uh, and as usual with uh, some of the safari mammal sculpts, not all of them, but some of them, I believe the ones by Doug Watson, all have uh, explicitly accurate genitalia, so that's a little bit more educational value in my eyes. It's gone now, but like right as I was just beginning to wrap up, a massive police siren just tore through the region, blasting miles across the land. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> I have, I have returned after a short break. Um, for size comparison, I'm going to briefly bring in again for the third time in the video, the Uinta theorem is getting a mention and for the second time it's being shown, whatever. Um, and I'm also going to bring in the Ineosaurus just because it was on my desk and why not? And our usual, the Safari U Tyrannus. Uh, I'm going to be giving this Megacerops an 8.5 out of 10. If you would like to purchase this figure or any of Safari LTD's products, you can of course do so at their website, safariltd.com or at amazon.com slash safariltd. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Oh, also, coupon code Bionic, B-I-O-N-I-C on Safari's website that, that should still function as a 10% off code, so go do that if you haven't already. Mm -hmm.